everyone, it's Helen here. Um, this is a session today that I'm doing as a recap for the online Zoom ukulele lesson we had on Friday. If you were in the room on Zoom, then you can refer back to this video and practice what we covered. If you were unable to join us, then um, you can also join in and start from the beginning. I'm going to make available a download which has got um, the sheets that accompany what I'm going to do. So if you make that download and have those pieces of paper next to you, then you should be able to go along. Those of you who know me, um, you can always contact me for some extra help in the week if you need to. So going right back to the beginning, we started off by just having a look at the ukulele. We've got the body, four strings, the neck, the head, these are the tuning pegs. And um, because I would normally help you with tuning if we were having a session together, unfortunately we can't do that at the moment. So you might be able to um, look at an online tuning facility, which some of the group members did. But I'll just do a little bit of tuning now. So I'm holding the ukulele. You'll have to flip over because um, on the camera I'll come out as a mirror image. So you've got four strings on the ukulele. Whatever size your ukulele is, unless it's a bass one, they are all tuned the same. So don't worry, it's not like a violin and a viola and a cello where they are tuned differently, they're all tuned the same. And they're at the same pitch, although the larger bodies provide um, more resonance, so you get a different tone with the different sizes. I've got a little soprano one here. Kitty made with me today and she's got her concert size ukulele. So I'm holding the ukulele snug to my body and my hand's going to be um, in a plain position. Notice I am actually resting my forearm on the body and then I can strum. You can, you can place that wherever feels comfortable for you. So with the strumming, a little bit of the motion is coming from my elbow, so I'm kind of making that kind of a movement so that it's not providing too much movement or too little movement. So second string, so the first one, second string is this one, and that's a C. If you've got a middle C on your piano, you can play that to tune. So I'm just going to sing that C. La, and you can follow the, the string up to the peg that it's attached to and move the peg to get that in tune. Then I'm going to the next string away from the top of it, so towards the ground, and that is an E. La, follow the string up to where the tuning peg is and adjust to get that in tune. Then the top string, which is the one nearest to me, Oh, I call it the bottom string actually, it's a G. G. Follow the string to where it is on the tuning peg. And then the one furthest away from me, the highest string is an A. A. Play that back slowly, get used to tuning. Okay? So you've got triad of C major with an added major sixth of A at the top. They're the open strings. We call them open when we haven't got any fingers on. The metal strips going across are called frets and we place our fingers in different positions on the neck to make different chords. The chord is when we play more than one note at once and then that will make a chord. So first of all go to your A string which is the one closest to the ground. Count up one, two, three, frets and I'm just going to show you what finger numbers we've got one two three four so I take my third finger which is my ring finger and place it on the third fret of the A string and then I'm just going to gently strum now a lot of ukulele players don't like people who strum with their thumb but I'm afraid I do there is no right or wrong way so let me just show you a couple of techniques to get you going remember when you're playing a piece of music or you're playing with other people, you, it's important to keep in time and keep a steady pulse going, like the ticking of a clock. Okay, so we're going to imagine we've got four beats in the bar, which means that we play one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and repeat one, two, three, four. So if you can find that C chord, which should sound like this when you play it, if you've tuned your ukulele. And then I'm going to strum with my thumb, but you can strum with your finger. The best place to strum the strings is somewhere around about where the neck meets the body. 
Although the sound comes out of the sound box, the optimum sound and tone, the best tone that you will get is there. So let's try together. After four, one, two, three, four. practice that on your own. If you want to add a little bit of interest into the strumming, as we progress we will do more complicated strumming patterns which add texture and rhythm to the piece. If you want to try a really simple one now, it will be three down strums and then an up. So we'll go one, two, three, four and down, 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 up, down, down, down. just strum and let, and let the strings sound. Okay, so you can go back and practice that C chord. I'm going to introduce you now to another two simple chords to play. The first one is called A minor. Come to the G string, which is the one closest to you, and this time we're counting one to our second finger and the second fret on the G string, the string closest to you on your ukulele, like that. When you make your chords, make sure that you press your finger firmly onto the string so that it's making contact with the fingerboard. And also make sure that you're not touching any of the other strings. I've curved my finger. If you're doing that and touching the other strings, you will not get a sound because you are holding onto those strings and preventing them from resonating. So simple A minor chord is like this. to the F major chord, so that one was A minor. I explained in the lesson on Friday, if you go online, you will find some little um, ukulele chord charts, which are in a little box, and they're on the download as well. And all you do is you look at them and you just interpret them into the, to where the fingers fall on the, on the, on the frets. So for an F major chord, um, if you see a chord that says F or C, that always means it's a major chord. If it has an M, or a minus sign after it, that means it's a minor chord. Okay, so we've done an A minor, A M or M M A might with a minus sign, and we're going to go to F major. So I'm keeping the A minor chord in position with my second finger. Then I'm not putting anything on the next string, the C string. I'm going to the E string and I'm placing my first finger on the first fret. I hope you can see that okay, I'm holding my ukulele up. If not, you can always go onto the downloadable <coughs> charts and have a look. So I'm just gonna demonstrate to you, keep the A minor where it was, and I hope I've put that in the right place because I'm not looking. First fret on the third string, which is the E string. And I'll just show you how that chord change will sound. I'm gonna do four on A minor and then four on the F. So, one, two, three, four. A minor four. Put my first finger down for the F. Two, three, four. Lift it up again, back to the A minor. And F. I don't know why I'm shouting. Sound like a PE instructor. I, can, I know some of you are really concentrating when you do this. A minor, two, three, four. One more time. And then finish on an A minor. Well done. Pause, go back, practice. 
I'm going to put a third chord into our chord sequence, okay? Um, but it's one we've done before, it's a C. So just watch me. I'm going to do exactly the same as I did before. I'm going to play the A minor, maybe play it four times. Then I'm going to go to the F by placing my first finger behind on the first fret of the third string, the E string. Then I'm going to lift both of those off and put my third finger on the third fret of the A string to make a C chord. Watch again, A minor four times, F four times, and then C four times. I'll just bring my ukulele close up to the camera again. So there's your A minor. Put the first finger on behind for the F major, and then I'm going to lift them off. Ooh, I can't see what I'm doing, and then put the C there. So I'll just do it again. A minor, F, C. So this time we're going to play them. We're going to play four on A minor, four on F, and then four on C, like this. So start off with the A minor chord. You can use a plectrum as well if that's more comfortable for you. So let's go. A minor on four, F for four, and then C for eight. I'll count in. One, two, three, four. A minor, two, three, four. F, two, three, four. Lift them off to a C. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back to A minor. time to place them on. So if you go like that, you've got a lot more work to work out where you are. So I'll start on the A minor, my finger's already there, ready to just pop down, and then that one's hovering, the third finger's hovering, ready to play the C. Slightly change the chord pattern to two strums on A minor, two strums on F, and four strums on C, like this. Three, four, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, one. You can do single strums like this. I'll show you next time. You can just go like this. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. If it's easier, A minor, F, and C. I'm going to sing in a minute. A minor, F, C. so I can show you the next thing we're going to do. We did um, another chord, we did um, the G7 chord. So, slightly different finger pattern. Go to your G string, which is the third one, put your first finger on the first fret. Then, you're going to put your second finger on the C string on the second fret, and then tuck the third finger behind on the second fret of the A string. If you download the sheet, it will show you very clearly how to do that. So we're just going to get used to strumming that chord. We're going to play it eight times together. Make sure your fingers are firmly pressed onto the um, fingerboard on the neck of the ukulele. So after four, one, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight. 
and if you're in the online session on Friday, to change to the C chord, I simply lift those two fingers off, but I just slide my third finger up one fret to find the C chord. So do eight on the C. Three, five, six, seven, eight. Then I'm going to slide it back to the second, place the other two on. Babylon using the two chords C and G7. You'll find these chords on the um, sheet that you can download. If you have a problem, let me know and I'll try and email them to you. So, start another C and change with me. By the rivers of Smith song. You can join in by just repeating that A minor, F and C chord sequence at home and it'll work. So <clears throat> you can download the lyrics as well to join in at home. Guess it's true I'm not good at a one night stand but I still need love because I'm just a man these nights never seem to go to plan I don't want you to leave, will you hold my hand? Oh, won't you stay with me? Cause you're all I need This ain't love, it's clear to see But darling, stay Not a good looking 
something to join in with. If you found the video and you're not part of our group, just do message me and I'll let you know when the next um, live Zoom session is. Everyone's welcome to join during this lockdown. So take care, everyone. See you soon. Bye.